Hello, how's it going guys? Thanks for watching. For this video, I wanna do a uh, taste test for this chocolate here. The uh, Coco Polo Toasted Coconut Chia Dark Chocolate. 70% dark chocolate. It's obviously sugar-free, keto-friendly. They use stevia as a sweetener. I received this chocolate with my keto crate uh, for this month. If you try keto for any amount of time, you probably realize that you're gonna get cravings for sweet things crunchy things and so obviously I'm super excited about trying any kind of chocolate with no sugar nowadays you can't really find these in stores I always get them from Amazon sometimes I go to Whole Foods and I get the Lily chocolate bars from there but they seem a little expensive uh, now to be honest I'm looking at the information here from Keto Crate and it says that the price is $6.99 so it's actually pretty comparable to what Lily's chocolate and Whole Foods is and also from Amazon. Amazon, I think, has the Lily's chocolate at $9, which I'm assuming is because it's a free shipping, so they're adding to the shipping. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. And just to give you guys some info before I try it, I'll give you guys the nutrition of facts. So this bar right here is considered two servings, and each serving has 170 calories, but it does have 16 grams of fat per serving, so that's 32. Uh, it has uh, 19 grams of carbs, Nine of those are fiber and five of those are erythritol. So that's five grams net carbs for half of the bar. It'll probably take my wife a week to eat this. Uh, for me, I can eat the whole thing at once. So just be cautious of that. This will be 10 grams of your total carbs for the day. I'm trying to get better at just kind of eating a little bit at a time, maybe, you know, four or five days to finish this thing. I'm gonna try this for you guys. Let you know what I think, especially because I've tried the Lily's chocolate, I've tried the Chalk Zero, and so hopefully this is gonna taste just as good as those or even better. So the ingredients list are chocolate, liquor, liquor, it says liquor. It says chocolate, comma, liquor, comma, erythritol. So I don't know if liquor means alcohol, but uh, I don't drink, so anytime I taste alcohol, I'm really sensitive to it. So we'll see if this thing has alcohol. And it has uh, inulin, I have no idea what that is. Cocoa butter, organic chia seeds, natural flavor, non-GMO soy, lecithin, vanilla, red A, extract of stevia, and milk. All right, so that seems interesting. Let's try it. Oh, it's kind of melted a little bit. I should have put it in the refrigerator. Nice and creamy though. Big. Mm. I do smell the coconut. It's really creamy chocolate. I don't feel any crunch yet, even though it looks like it's supposed to be crunching. You can see the coconut flakes right inside of the chocolate. Sweet. Now I can taste the dark chocolate. It's a little bit bitter. I used to not like the bitter chocolate, but now I'm okay with it. Now I like it, especially because milk chocolate it's a little too sweet for me now. I do get a little bit of the crunch from the coconut flakes. I'm getting a unique flavor. I don't know if it's um, this liqueur thing. There's something in there that I can't really pinpoint. It's not a bad taste. It's actually interesting. It goes well with the bitterness of the dark chocolate. And the coconut flavor is really not heavy. Uh, it's, it's nice and subtle. I can smell it, but it's not overwhelming like um, like coconut oil. Uh, my wife doesn't want me to use coconut oil when I cook because she doesn't like the flavor. But this is really nice. It's melting. Get us? No? I won't surprise you. The texture of the coconut flakes is really interesting. It's almost like a really thin chip, but it doesn't have a lot of flavor. Now that I think about it, it might be the chia seeds that are popping and not necessarily the coconut flakes. But regardless, it tastes good. I don't know if it's the best chocolate that I've tasted. Chalk Zero makes really good chocolate. Lily's chocolate is pretty good too. It's probably closer to Lily's chocolate uh, than to the Chalk Zero. Right now, Chalk Zero is my favorite, especially the bark that they have is really good. Uh, I haven't done a taste test on those, but I, I was supposed to do one and then they ate it all. But I do like it. It does seem like it has some type of a liquor. I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but there's something in here that I, it's almost like uh, like a vapor or something. But anyways, it's, uh, I do recommend it. It's not bad. Uh, you would have to be somebody that enjoys uh, bitter chocolate 
it's not overly sweet which is a good thing because if you notice once you go keto uh, after a while uh, everything this used to be okay sweet tends to be overly sweet and uh, so this is actually a good good flavor good uh, good mixture of bitter uh, and you know subtle flavors uh, and uh, and definitely nice and creamy all right so thank you for watching hopefully this helped uh, so yeah i'm glad i tasted this and i look forward to seeing what other products this company has thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel hit that little like button if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know when i uh, upload new videos i appreciate you guys watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye